Thank you for listening. This is KPFK 90.7 FM in the greater Los Angeles area. Easy listening through the middle of the night. Uh, I think we're going to field some calls at this point. What, what do you have to tell the people of Los Angeles tonight? Oh, God damn <laughs> KBFK's fun drive goes through tonight, Saturday, and we could still use all the volunteer help we can get. You're listening to Asiatic Rhythms, and in studio we have Murray right now. Let's get into the B-side to the truth. We have in studio today our very honored guest, Murray from Salt Lake City, Utah. Say what? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's happening? (laughs) (laughs) What to do? So, um, that track was called The B Side to the Truth. Yes, it was. And what is the truth behind the song? That I uh, had very rude feelings towards the person I wrote it about. Yeah. As, as much as I had all these ill will feelings towards her, okay. there was also that huge part of me that still had a lot of love for her because we'd been through everything together, you know? That's cool. That's so it's cool. kind of like that song was the B-side to the truth. So what I gather is that you guys are fairly a new band. You guys we just are. We like are. joined forces last year, correct? Yes, that is true. Actually, the first day that we ever played together was on March 13th. Really answer your question. We all came from three different bands in Salt Lake. We grew uh, up. We grew up playing shows together in our separate bands. Jonathan had a band. I had a band. Bert and Chris started a band, and uh, we've been playing shows together for years. You know, four or five years, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just kind of fell into place. And uh, Chris ended up going his own way with his acoustic guitar and jamming on the weekends. And we all pretty much jammed together individually on separate occasions. And. Chris and I did some production work together, Chris uh-huh. and, and Bird jammed together, and then we brought Jonathan in the mix, and we just kind of formed Murray the way that Murray is. Hey, so your EP is entitled Tarot Card Prophecy. Correct. So I was just curious, are you guys like into the o- occult and stuff, like palm reading and like... Not, not at, at all. all. No. <laughs> you just no. picked it. Well, like, no, there is a story behind it, though. Like, what ended up happening was I was out in Hawaii, walking around on Waikiki. Okay. And they have oh, a bunch cool. of like, um, kind of street peddlers, you know, people trying to like sell you stuff or whatever. And okay. I, I like to stop and talk to them and see what's up. And there was this lady that was shuffling cards and I'm into card magic. Mm-hmm. And so I asked her, she's doing magic tricks. And she's like, nope. And I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm reading tarot. And I was like, well, I'll give you a couple bucks. You know? And I sat down and talked with her. And anyway, she ended up giving me a tarot reading that was like pretty much in enough, like in enough where it said it was specifically saying that I needed to be playing music with these specific individuals. Crazy. So are these cards the descriptions of your bandmates, or you just like... Oh, you are clever. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I think, you're one, you the first, I think you. you're one of the first people that's actually brought that up. At least really? with me. Really? At least with me. That's cool. No, I, this is really, really clever. I wish everyone in the radio world could see this. And there is a way they could see this. Actually, is it the plug? Yes. This yes. is when the plug comes in. Okay. Yes, yes. Go all buy right. a record. This is me. Go buy the record. Okay. <laughs> no, all right. What do we do? We got website. We got MySpace. All right. Website www.murraymusic.com There's a shop on there. That's one way, right? That's yes, one way you yes, can see it. Yes. Order the CD. We got the MySpace. MySpace.com slash Murray Music. And this is M-U-R-Y Murray Music. So just remember Murray Music. You got MySpace.com slash Murray Music or MurrayMusic.com as the website. Or cool, we're on cool. iTunes, I got the artwork up there, all that wow, stuff. Wow, you guys so. are everywhere on the, the We're working on it, working on it, we're working on it. So you guys are now on tour with uh, Paper, Paper Mache. Mache. Paper Mache. How's that yeah. tour going for you guys? It's going good. good. Amazing. Go really well. Go yeah. really, really well. Their band broke down in the bay, so Seth, oh. yeah, Seth, their singer, actually rode down with us, played the show last night, Acoustic. And uh. then we dropped him out at, at a bus station earlier today, and he took a bus to San Diego with no idea how he was getting to the venue. Oh, that fool's wow. a champion. Yeah, no, this dude is, like, so dedicated. His van breaks down in the bay, he's like, peace, I'm playing these shows, hitches a ride with us, takes the train to the next. Just, wow. Yeah. And, we'll see, and his phone's dead, and he doesn't have a charger, and he's, yeah. too, and he's too broke to afford one. His name's <laughs> Seth, right? Yeah, his name's yeah. Seth. Yeah. He left on the train wearing basketball shorts and a Murray t-shirt so he cannot be trusted yeah <laughs> and your next show is 
tonight, correct? In a few so, hours. And you will be there too, right? Yes, You sir. will be running yes, sound. I'll be running sound. Only. Yeah, that's how I discovered you guys. Well, quote unquote discovered. I was like, hey, I like these guys. I like the guitar hooks. Oh, right like, on. It's like, oh, these harmonies, wow, they're dead on. That's how most of these good relationships happen when you're on tour, you know, when somebody yeah. walks up and they appreciate what you do. Yeah, your you know? music, right? And yeah. especially, yeah, it's such like a small time independent level. It's like, you don't get a lot of that, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like, I, I would imagine yeah. bands that like, have a lot more success every single show they're at. It's just like people are just dying to touch them, you know? Yeah, it gets kind of like, oh, uh, can I go over there now? Right, yeah. uh-huh. And like, I laugh when people ask for an autograph, not because like, it's funny to me, but just because I like, why would you want my name on a piece of paper, you know? Sketchy, very shy, shy women. Yeah. Not quite skeezy. With all sorts of tricks up their sleeve, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have those tricks. They have like little masks over their faces, right? Like ninjas. You don't even know what they're talking about or what they're thinking, right? Tricks. Sometimes you gotta possibly. I mean, I don't know what kind of girls you've been dating, but. No, but it's whatever you're into. You run into one of those, you backflip out of that situation. Now you know what that song is about, right? Guys, I highly encourage you all to watch them today. Not right now, because, well, you can join us if you hours. want. You know? Right now. Uh, you don't, bring, have, you don't have streaming right webcams in here? No, no, no. 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 Gotta work on that. You know what? We'll actually, we'll, we'll, you'll see this eventually if you want to, because we got the camera got, rolling yeah, in here. We got something that we're working on. We got Mr. Right, Tamina yeah. rolling film. Tamina, what did you think of the radio interview? It was awesome. Very yeah. good. It was fun. It was good. I made an ass out of myself. All right, we all lollygagged. Get it in here, because what time is it now? Let me check. 3.58. They cut us two minutes short. Can you believe that? Actually, I think They said we were going to be on till 4. I think it was actually 3.30. Really? Yeah. Oh, we went over the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. You must have been having a good time. I was having a good time is what I'm getting at. I had a great time. I think if I was a radio <laughs> jockey, they'd just like call me like Crazy Chris, you know? I'd just get on the microphone I'd be like, Hey! You know, like, <laughs> it's Crazy Chris in the house! How y'all doing, you know?